One of the most foundational elements of this channel, one of the most remarkable moments in history time and time again, and one of the most dire conditions of our modern existence is the weakening of Earth's magnetic field. We're going to dive deeper on a recent update to this ongoing event, and we will end by learning just how fast the magnetic field is going to be declining when it hits full speed. This week, we reviewed this article and discussed how the weakening magnetic field is beginning to allow significant penetration advancement of charged particles into Earth's upper atmospheric layers. To understand just how significant of a change has taken place, we will look not at the polar fields wrapping around the globe, but the L-shells, the smaller arcs that touch lower latitudes, and while they go up to L6 and beyond in theory, the innermost shells here are what are most important. The number corresponds to Earth radii altitude, so the L1.5 shell extends out to 1.5 Earth radii. The particles in focus in this paper are said to have dropped from a little less than 1 Earth radius down more than 500 kilometers, and that is not such a small change at all, especially when you consider that it's not been a constant drop, not by a long shot. The process has been accelerating, making this a direct measurement of one of the scariest potential events for an excitement of that lowest L shell in a solar superstorm. Both of those animations are from NASA and represent what happens when the sun juices up those fields in modern day regular storms and when a major event happens modeled with a magnetar burst. That'd be fun on Earth, eh? Now this outlook of sustained acceleration to significant levels makes us ask, well just how fast can this magnetic event unfold on Earth? Well for that, it helps to look at curves. This is literally the best resolution graphic that paper had to offer, which is absurd. But top right we have the drop in altitude over time, but with a straight regression line that obviously does not capture the true nature of the curve, which is accelerating downward. And so, I just copied that real curve onto a blank sheet and we can start from here. Folks, I've looked at the data of the magnetic field weakening enough to know that this curve of particle penetration looks pretty darn close to the overall field loss. So, how fast are things going to get? Well, first let's review where we are now. The most famous announcement of the 10% field loss was in the year 2000 by NASA. Here we not only learned about the weakening field, but that the magnetic poles were shifting and speeding up. In the north, this modern shift began in 1859, coincident with the great Carrington event solar storm, and the North Pole has now gone over the top, as they say, and is heading southward towards Siberia. During this time, the South Magnetic Pole has been on a slower saunter, but is way out in the lead, already having left the continent of Antarctica. In 2010, the European Space Agency updated that number from 10% to 15%, which is really a psychotically huge jump from the 10% lost from 1859 up to 2000. But it was real, and the leader of the mission measuring Earth's magnetic field made no bones about the fact that Earth's magnetic field was getting ready to flip. He quickly and very quietly lost his position shortly after revealing that Earth's magnetic field had gone from losing 5% per century to 5% per decade. This put a lot of folks on notice, especially those who were repeatedly proving that these events are extinction level moments for many species and major hits to the biosphere, and doing so in the top journals, and for those tracking the field across the world and showing how rapidly this event is happening while we all clamor over COVID and climate change. Folks, we are in big trouble. For those who forget, the official science says that when she goes, she goes fast, a hundred times the mark used by NASA's 5% per century. Severely extreme. And by the way, that would be 5% lost per year, about 1% every 72 days. When she goes, it's going to be a couple years at most. That's not a joke. This is not a joke. At 5% loss per decade, we are now down 20% or more, and if Earth's magnetic field accelerates again, it is very bad news. And as many of you probably recall, it is very likely that it has accelerated again in the 2019 and 2020 geomagnetic jerk after the more regionally focused shift in 2017. Below this video, you will find a playlist, the playlist detailing what this cycle is on Earth, how terrible it has been in the past, and how we're due in the cycle timeline again, 
And what do you know? Observational evidence of every kind indicates that fate appears unwilling to show mercy or alter her gait for the sake of our vanity. And she's at the front gates right now. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.